And the Bulls need to wake up. It is a noon start here <laughs> uh, Central Time, isn't it? <laughs> the Pacers are certainly awake. We mentioned young, confident, maybe a dangerous team coming in here playing their best basketball of the season. Darren Collison to the ultra athletic Paul George, and the Pacers have an early six point lead. Harry Rick Buecher, game one of the NBA playoffs, and a terrific start for the Indiana Pacers. The foul. He's very skilled, and they want him down in the post more. We have seen that already. We're seeing Hibbert, the big guy at one end, JB, and Joakim Noah, the big guy at the other end, doing a job as well. Boozer the miss. The air ball stat of JB comes to the <laughs> forefront early. In Chicago, Roy Hibbert of the Pacers off to a good start, tied to three off, draws the foul, he defies physics. Instead of going straight up, which he probably would get a charge call there, he slides, slides to the right, uh, and here is him just finishing with the left hand here. Collison goes to the rim, no, says Derrick Rose, and the beautiful spin. We got ourselves a little point guard shootout going on here in Chicago. Setting it all up during a timeout here with the United Center. Indiana leading Chicago by five despite the best efforts and already some ooh and ah kind of plays from Derrick Rose. Well, the inexperience factor, Fooey. This guy's come out, the runner to start it, the ability to get to the lane. How about the defense? Collison beats him, he doesn't give up on the play, and the beautiful spin move, another easy basket in the paint for him. Oh, how about this? One of two close here in Chicago with the Indiana Pacers. Despite the best efforts of Derrick Rose, the Pacers have the lead right now with both Darren Collison and Roy Hibbert playing very well in the opening 12 minutes. The NBA playoffs are underway and the eighth seeded Indiana Pacers are not given any ground to the Chicago Bulls. A four point lead at the end of one. Welcome back to Chicago. I'm here with Pacers coach Frank Vogel. And here in Chicago in game one of the NBA playoffs. ESPN's presentation of the NBA playoffs brought to you by the Adidas Atacolor Collection, only available at Champ Sports. And BBVA Compass, where teamwork works. Learn how at BBVACompass.com. NBA playoffs continue tomorrow as well on ABC. It's game one between the Hornets and the Lakers at 3.30 Eastern time. The NBA playoffs on ABC. Home of the NBA Finals. Coverage begins with a Buick Regal NBA countdown at 3 Eastern. You'll be back in the studio for that. I guess the big question in this series is, which Lakers are showing up, JB? <laughs> he is breathtaking end to end. Rose to the line when we come back to Chicago. Thursday night here in Chicago, Derrick Rose spoke at a fundraiser for President Obama. Of course, both of them are from Illinois. And Derrick Rose, one of the things that he said to the president is, hey, some people say we need a two guard. Would you take the job? <laughs> Didn't take it. You know, <laughs> he got other things to worry about right now. <laughs> like How about nine and ten free throws right here? Wow. The ninth and tenth already for Derrick Rose. NBA playoff action continues today at 3.30 Eastern. A game one between the 76ers and the Heat. Then tonight a doubleheader here on ESPN. The Hawks in a match in game one from Orlando. And the Trailblazers and the Mavericks at 9.30 Eastern tonight. Also game one. The NBA playoffs on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. And ESPN, home of the Western Conference Finals. Very much the Toyota halftime show is coming up. And a storm, Jalen Rose, Chris Mullen, to look back at the first half of this game and a preview of all of today's action coming up on ABC and ESPN. The Indiana Pacers are playing some great basketball so far here today in Chicago. 
Derek Rose has been great. Darren Collison has been great. They are the leading scorers for their respective teams. But at the end of 24 minutes, the Pacers lead the Bulls 55-51. Stay tuned for the Toyota Halftime Show coming up after these messages. here on ESPN. The Pacers and the Bulls in a game one here with the United Center but the Indiana Pacers have a lead going to the second half. Let's take a look now at our Michelin first half stats of the Pacers shooting the ball very well against the Bulls team. That was arguably the best defensive team in the league during the regular season. Indiana shooting 50 percent making five of their eight threes as well. They've got a four point lead as we go to the second half. Hi again, everybody. Dan Schulman and John Barry. What an entertaining first half. Of Great push by Collison. He gets the turnover in the other end. Pushes the ball into the paint. Finds Granger again for his second three-point shot. And how about this? The Indiana Pacers, the 37 and 45 Pacers, up 10 here in Chicago. Say it isn't so, Dan. O. ESPN's presentation of the NBA playoffs, brought to you by the new 2012 Mustang, a whole new breed of car and Sears. NBA is presented in 3D by Sony. Welcome back to Chicago where the Indiana Pacers now have their largest lead of the game at 10 and this is a Pacers team although they were 37 and 45 during the season have shown the ability to beat some very good teams JB. How about the ability to score? 144 against the Nuggets. They had 54 points in a quarter in that game, the fourth most in NBA history. 20 straight field goals. Vogel, and they have stunned a capacity crowd of about 22,000 here at the United Center today. It's the largest lead of the game for the Indiana Pacers. The young Pacers are playing free and easy right now. Darren Collison having a monster day. Indiana by 12. On ABC and ESPN at 3.30 Eastern, game one between the Heat and Sixers on ABC. Then a double to header tonight here on ESPN. Game one, Atlanta, Orlando. Game one, Portland, Dallas. The NBA playoffs on ABC, home of the NBA Finals and ESPN, home of the Western Conference Finals. What do you expect out of the Sixers and Heat? The Sixers may be going into that series with the mindset the Pacers bring into this series. Yeah, I think so. I, I think that the you leave your feet, not allowed to do that anymore. Timeout on the floor. Indiana continues to lead. And our Sony big picture. This game is the first game of the 2011 NBA playoffs. All kinds of action still to come today and tomorrow, including the Lakers opening up with New Orleans as they seek their third consecutive championship. Had a bumpy finish to the regular season. The Miami Heat will open up in the first round against the Philadelphia 76ers. And the New York Knicks will take on the Boston Celtics, who, as Hannah just told us, will be without Shaquille O'Neal in game one. Give me your thoughts on the, the Celtics and the Knicks. The NBA during the regular season is going to face an eight point deficit going to the fourth quarter here on its own home court in game one. Well, how about this Pacer team answering the bell in the second half? You would think the Chicago Bulls would take over, but no. As we take another look at Hansborough, who gets an inadvertent elbow right into the temple, and he is down and out. Let's hope. If you're a Pacer fan, that he can come back. He was terrific in that third quarter, Dan. Indiana by eight, going to the fourth. Welcome back to Chicago. I'm here. Playoffs. Playoffs. This is it. <laughs> this is great. We got games all day today. I can't wait. Turn on the tube and hang out with the 2011 playoffs. 
ESPN's presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Brought to you by Chevrolet and their award-winning cars, trucks, and crossovers. And Michelin, a better way forward. I think that the guys in the NBA, including myself, are so passionate about giving back because a um, majority of us came from places where it was rough growing up. As a NBA player, people are going to look up to you. Wherever city you're in, wherever city you're playing for, just giving back, knowing that you care, I think that's the biggest thing. The way I look at it, when you give, you shall receive, and that's how it's supposed to be. Back in Chicago, here's a quote to generate a little bit of time to catch it. He was looking for the foul. 5.33 to go, timeout on the floor. Indiana still leading up by six in the Bulls as Dwayne Wade of the Miami Heat gets set for game one against the Philadelphia 76ers coming up shortly on ABC. Coming up shortly tonight. Uh, among the action, you'll see Orlando at Atlanta, game one of that series at 7 Eastern on ESPN. The other Eastern Conference series, Boston, New York, will begin tomorrow. Later on tonight at 9.30 Eastern, New Orleans and Dallas in a game one of that series here on ESPN. Five down the J, all second half. And Boozer continues to give him room. And you got to credit the young kid. You give me some room, I'm going to take it. It's a big spot, under four to go in our first playoff game. No problem for this guy, four-year college guy. Maybe that has a lot to do with it, Dano. Seven-point lead for the Indiana Pacers after getting knocked woos. Congratulations, great finish. We'll see you in game two. Back to you, Dan. Rick, thank you very much. What an incredible day for Derek Rose. A career playoff high, 39 for him, including 19 out of 21 free throws and the assistant now corner with a really backbreaking three in the last minute of this game. Sports Center is coming up next year on ESPN. And don't forget, it's the Sixers and the Heat going on right now on ABC. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For John Barry, review to our entire ESPN crew. I'm Dan Schultz saying, hope you enjoyed this one. What a